five times at three-quarter time in the nine games and on six occasions at that last quarter. Mike. Anderson's about to come on for his first game to, for the Hawks. Mackey drives it up the middle, but straight to Stratton. Hill's been replaced, who was so good early in this game, just the one touch this quarter. Looks like he might have Stay cramped as well. Mitchell to the leading rough head, and he's marked 40 metres down, down in the third term, but there's plenty to come for him. We know what he's got, and that's plenty. Meantime, Roughhead steps inside the 50. The margin at eight points, and Roughhead kicks a goal. We're back to two. They saw a real setback for the coaching staff, given that he's the man in charge of Buddy Franklin at the moment. Hale, after he went through Cox's legs, gave it to Lewis, to the back. Roughhead, open goal ahead of him. Just needs to be precise. Cool. That's super cool. He did get some I've seen from, from Big Dean Cox before, but you see there, good shepherd, and then the separation was excellent from Roughhead. Goals in his sights, and a great finish. Yeah, it's a nice bit of work from Sean Burgoyne, but also Roughhead, it's the first time we've seen Roughhead take hold of the game. Had no ruckman there, Dean Cox couldn't get near it. Oh, and opened oh. up again. Lewis to Smith. Rough He's got Roughhead as the runner. Schofield with him. Roughhead. Schofield. Roughhead. Great grab. Schofield turned his back and from that moment was dead. Quarter. His work rate's been high. That time just able to sneak out the back after the free kick was paid. And a good delivery again inside 50. And sends a hush around Patterson Stadium again with another. He's got two. You're right, Jared, in the context of the game, that was a big, big play by Hawthorne. Hudson, Pendlebury again, they combine this time. Bailey just knocks it. And then Anderson onto the right boot. High up and under, big fly out the back. Reed couldn't quite make it stick. Rioli, Johnson on top of him. Reed looks to be in some sort of trouble. He's still on the ground out the back as the ball just works inside 50. And Ruffy will be right on his distance. All still... Yet to play, Beams watching on Roughhead. Well, the crowd tells the story. The Hawks are happy, but the Pies, they'll be anxious as Reed comes to the interchange gates. Woody has been just sensational. <laughs> yes, it's been a great weekend of footy, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> Had everything this turn. Push! Oh, gee, that's uh, a push. I'd like to see that again. Push. Yeah, big free kicks and Roughhead in the scoring position. I think the Collingwood crowd might agree with you boys there. So Roughhead who's kicked a goal and hit the post and now kicks a second goal. And that hurts. Really hurts. You go back to last year's grand final as well. Like they still got the ball inside their attacking 50 so many more times from Sydney. What they couldn't do is they couldn't actually score once they got it there. So they didn't do a lot wrong last year, Hawthorne. The way they were spoken about during the you know, year 2013 might just be that year to redeem the grand final disappointment of last year. And if Ruffy stays fit and Buddy continues his prolific form, they're going to have that potent forward line and they've got the miserly defence and Ruffy just draws it back for his third. Another Sunday afternoon special, 72,000 this afternoon. Tanner Smith, just out muscled by the big guy, and then to Lewis, who goes over the top to the running Bruce. Already has one this afternoon, steps inside Johnson, and now a long ball. Roughhead got a couple of dockers to beat, got pushed out. Howlett settled. He can go with the Nana here. Ruffy kicks a goal. All Hawks in the first term. It, uh, tackles, it's clearances. Just watch here, the intent here from Spare was great. Roughhead strong enough to keep his feet. Duck bust through. Can't quite. Gunston pick up good. But he has to wait. Main just sort of shuffles it forward. Muzungu and then out of the air it was Hill, not 15. Lewis, he hasn't heard it. Now he has. Little give back to Savage. He pulls the kick. Works out well. And Ruffy, 40 out directly in front. In the shadows of half time. Playing the, the pinch ruckman. Spending a lot of time in the ruck. But uh, more time in the forward 50 for the Hawks. This year. And I've got to say, they look potent when both Franklin and Roughhead line up in the key post seconds. in the forward line. Remember in that 2008 year, Buddy kicked 113, Ruffy kicked 75, and he kicks another this afternoon. Ruffy's got a couple. The Hawks punch it back out to 30 points.
He talked about his Achilles. He just under a year. Here's Bruce running away with it. He gets away from Spur. The kick for Burgoyne spot on. Now he looks upfield. Nobody really free. So just held up a little. Buddy, the target. You'd think Dawson's with him. Leading now is Roughhead. And Roughhead got away from Tanner Smith. A little bit of blocking. Clever blocking by the Hawthorne forwards and as a result three goals last week 6-4 so far Watch your mark. Got in 2013 meters. that was coming into today's game and kicking for his third right here to make it very difficult for the Fremantle Dockers so the game high was 44 it's back to 36 and with seconds on the clock maybe another for Ruffy yeah something coming up for Jared Ruffhead he's got three goals too <laughs> And he'll kick it from point blank after the siren. No, clock stopped with the whistle. Bluffed into it there, I reckon, hey? Uh, Ruffy looking to play on there. He's had a good game. Coming up for his fourth goal. So the Hawks by 42. And I think there is one second left on the clock. It ticked down to zero, but there's no siren. Oh, so Ferrito off the ball. It's going to come up. Cyril's kick, in fact. Ruffhead's on his own here now. Gunston can find him. Well, you'd, have to, ask the, well, you'd have to ask the question where Michael Ferrero was. Because he started the... So, Jared Ruffhead. Five disposals so far. And if Ferrero was man in the mark, he had to yell out to someone to pick Ruffhead up. Kicked 18 goals in 13 games against North. And I reckon it the post. showed the post, didn't it? I reckon it did. <laughs> The goal umpire didn't think so, but yeah. see, that's a let off. I reckon the ball for review, I don't. Can you call for one? <laughs> the one that gives the free kick away. Just look at the ball. Ooh. Hey. Well, it just edged the post, didn't it? Well. Smith, no it's a big contest. kick, it's a roll, hard one for Ruffhead, did he give away the free, he didn't, and Shields claims the goal! What is the rule there, Dan? The rule came out. Lana have your hand no. on their arm, or you have your you can't push that, no. that's a rule, it's a push. Oh, I can't no. use a push in the contest in any case, I, I totally disagree with. I don't even oh, Watch this one, watch this, is this a push? That's a fall over. Uh -huh. Not sure how he could even see under that pack if he was trying to get rid of it. They pounced him. I didn't think there was prior opportunity, Richo. High ball, top of the square, right ahead. They are really, really stretching the Sydney defence. They are just... Big rough. That was a great mark. To make it a 29-point lead, it should be at the punt road end, and Roughhead does just that. It's rampy, so he's giving away... 10 centimetres to David Hale. Shields in amongst all of that. Here's Ruffin again. He remembers he's a left footer. He pounces. He sends it. Punt road bound. Two in a row for the rough. Oh, he enjoyed it. A whopping 35 point lead. Now, that was Jordan Lewis on to the rough head, and rough head went back to him and said, Mate, you, that was your goal. And now they're uh, isolating rough. Hawthorne, keep the feet. Mitchell. Hodge involved, and have a look at this, Osborne all by himself, Armstrong gives chase, no closing down, Puapolo on the march. Roughhead wanted it, surely he's run off the mark and eventually gets it, the umpire said not 15, Roughhead on his favourite boot, he was off balance, it was the Michael Jordan fade away by Big Ruff. Thing he can't do. Oh, Jared Ruffhead is, I believe, makes Hawthorne a four or five goal better team when he's on fire up forward like he is tonight. He's kicked three goals. Remember, in two disputed the goal umpire's decision to. That's how we're going to do it, Brian. We're going to try and get it all up because my view of that was very different. As Isaac Smith thought about the handball, didn't run off his mark in the fake, and now finds Ruffhead. So Roughhead comes in to extend the margin to 42 points, and he's got it. Big rough. So Roughhead pops that through. I'll tell you what we're going to do now. We're going to go back. Let's have a listen 
to all the available audio we've got in this very contentious couple here at GWS. Mitchell has already ducked his head. Oh, I reckon he ducked his head then. That's his fourth disposal as they push forward. Gunston on the end of the Hodge handball. And here's Franklin. Could this be number one? He quite comfortably pushed off Tim Moore. Moore lost his footing and once, lost his vision. And <laughs> oh, and he passes off to Ruffhead. They will collapse. Open forward line and Buddy was unselfish in his approach to giving it to his teammate. So Jared Ruffhead, we touched on it in the opener. What a versatile player he now is. Fresh from four goals to eight marks, 27 disposals last week. Slots the first. Just on that occasion, something wrong. So it's the mantra of handball. Unfortunately, it falls well short. And Simkin has been super impressive so far. And lovely delivery into the 50 for Ruffhead. Gee, I love the way that this disposals both time, but he's had seven already today. And Ruffhead, maybe it's a big day out for Jared Ruffhead. That's his second goal. Square things off. Burgoyne, careful not to give away a free. So winding through, couldn't quite wind up though. Hale Mitchell, they're surging the Hawks. Low bullet to Ruffhead. He just, he didn't have to move much. He just had the play. So Ruffhead, a couple of deep breaths. Lines him up for his third. Not a problem at all. Cut through by Buddy Franklin, his teammates and the crowd. Three goals for Ruffhead so far. Simmons in this looking game. up in the eyes of the umpire. And Tim Moore getting just a little bit of respite, winning the footy and getting another touch as well. Over to Thomas Bug, who's happy to revert across the ground. He'd be wishing he didn't. Ruffhead kicks his fourth. Well, just a skill error there. Just needs to go long down the line to the Ruckman and get the ball clear out in some space and get the midfields be predictable so they can get to the drop zone of the ball coming out of defence. Well, that's just a poor kick, not even a step, one step kick and looked up at the result rather than staying over the ball. And very disappointing start from GWS. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's got to be under a goal, I'm sure it was. Gaston drives it long to full four. Ruffin might get one more say in this one. He drags it down. It's a contrast, isn't it? Playing but for the Hawks and playing for a fledgling club. Here's Ruffin's kick. It's through. A little parting gift from Jared Ruffin. And the Hawks get home by 83 points at Aurora Stadium. Old friends embrace that are now enemies. Stephen Gillam, of course. They've been through so much with the Hawks after starting his career at Port Adelaide. This thing Hawthorne need is Gibson and Lake off the field. This is why Alistair Clarkson get, does get frustrated in, this, in these games. They've started very sloppy with ball in hand and the injury rate at the moment is proving to be a, a huge headache for Alistair and his, his crew. Hill Simpkin, good stuff into the 50 and hits Ruffhead on the chest. Yeah, it wasn't pretty. It was a bit of a floater there from Jonathan Simpkin, but... It went inside forward 15 like all good forwards. Yes, he's had a great start to the year, Ruffhead. He has. Some great touch in recent weeks. Five goals, two last week. At 22 disposals. Some of the numbers he's been able to rack up. 27 the week before. They're right behind him. And he couldn't have split the post any better than that. Protect again. Yeah. Bruce lost his trousers, but not his composure. Hill back to Lewis. Who sets them up? Rough it'll run. Perfect kick. And Mark. Perfect kick from Lewis. He assessed that Franklin was up the ground. He saw Rough oh, Look at this the Spot bottom on. replay here with Roughhead the leap. That is a beautiful kick. And good mark. Now it's about the conversion. That's not pretty, not convincing, but it is a goal. Needs to play at the moment. He should be sitting on the, yeah. the right hand shoulder of Buddy Franklin and use his athleticism. Well, they're on the back foot again, the Hawks here. Rough head. Glanced into the middle. Gee, Went got a good for Brooke himself. Oh, what about that? One step. Bang. He likes it. The rough ball to start with and gets this one and uh, just tees it up from uh, 55 metres. And just inside that right post, and uh, shape another one of the class players of the competition.
And the big fella, pretty well, happy with that. Some credit to them. Well we, done. We saw that last night, Maxie. I think there was very few free kicks paid in the Geelong game. That's balls, good footy. Ball's gone inside it's 50 for Hawthorne and fortuitously lands on the lap of big Jared Ruffhead. It was a 13 ball. metres out directly in front. He couldn't miss this if he fell over. He comes in <laughs> and he puts it straight through. Goodness gracious me. It's starting to get very, very ugly here. We're guarding the boundary side space of Roughhead and left the corridor open. One stand one side, one stand the, the score, other. And it's just under the uh, small scoreboard that all this is going on. The ball kicked up and down almost on the one spot. Hill there for the Hawks. Gets it away by hand. Now oh, dropping oh. forward for the leading Roughhead. Beautifully done. He broke the pack open. Contested mark. Dennis Family Holmes. Wind. The forward comes out as big as Roughhead is and takes the ball at its highest point. Impossible to defend. He's kicked one goal one. The Hawks have only kicked one, have they, for this term so far. And 12 minutes in. There it is. Well done, Jared. He's been everywhere. He's spent a bit of time in the middle. He's kicked out from fullback a couple of times. He is a tremendously versatile option for Hawthorne right. Within the team structures, they're predictable. The other players know that they're going to kick the ball. He's had a bit of a torrid day on uh, Chris Dawes, but he did the business there. Plays on, gives to Stratton. Stratton still got some run in the legs. He's hand pass to Birchall. Birchall's got Gibson, who's run on. He breaks the Watts tackle too easily. He's on the logo. He's got one bounce. He goes inside 50, and he kicked it straight to Howe. Howe couldn't mark. It comes to Smith. Smith handballs to Ruffy. Ruffy can go into the open goal and go bang. Hawk fans love it. He's got his third, the big Roughmeister. He's in career best form. And he's icing on the cake. He's actually probably lowered his colours slightly to gallon today. This is not good. Um, no. uh, <laughs> this is where, in the off-season, we've got to send Benny more gifts. <laughs> so we're going to have to come to these. Well, now he's yes. over it. Needs to be careful. Claimed by Shields. Umpire oh, watching. But he's knocked him off. Hawthorne. Well, he did. Right away. Stay there. And caught a dent, so that was there. So Shules just controls it, looks for Ruffhead. So Bootsman, it looks like, has got the task on Ruffy. And Ruffy with a left footer has oh. got the opening goal. Well, we talked about in prior to the match. We talked about the matchups down the back. Didn't we? Shields, Watson, who dragged it back in. But, I mean, just when you look down this end, the thing about Ruffhead, he's just not a slow marking player, is he? He's agile. He's got ground-level second effort. And what, then. and what we're seeing up each end is Hodges playing the highest third tall player. So whoever goes up the highest, whether it be Rowe or Casbold or Waite, he's going to for the Hawks defence. And then up the other end, Boots was playing exactly the same role. So Boots is playing on whoever the highest third tall A shaky opener, poor kick again by Henderson. It's a bit of everything from uh, Henderson at the moment off the boot to Ray. Belting back and here's a goal. Rough it in the hole. Well, the Carlton. This is where Carlton, I reckon, blew it last week. I mean, their turnovers in the second half cost them dearly. And they've just got to cut them down. They've got to play this game at pace, I think, to win. Ruffy gets his second, and they close the gap. Simpson, so good tonight. The clearing kick comes outside the 50. Knocked forward by Lake. Chance in front of the pack from Juray. Juray hand passes to Simkin, and Simkin finds Roughhead. About 40 metres out directly in front. You reckon at the moment, Alistair Clark should think of So Roughhead going at his third to negate the one from Rowe. It's back to where it was five minutes ago. Hard one goal, that one, to Jared Roughhead. Odin Brian Lake has absolutely monster Casbold in the last five or ten minutes. Yeah, it's been about yeah. four goes at contested mark, and Lake has done him every important time. he's been. Back to Smith. Back to DeRay. Gee, that's a... Well, it's a free kick down the ground. That is so slack. He's an ill-disciplined footballer, isn't he? He's a great player, but he's ill-disciplined. Yep. This could be an issue, this Hawthorne trainer. I mean, it's not the runner, it's the trainer. Yeah, it is a trainer, I think, yeah. Ruffy's got four, and they're in front of the Hawks. I reckon it's happened twice, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Carlton have looked... Carlton have looked up and they've seen a dark shirt and they've kicked to that spot. Yeah, yeah we see them. They see the off a step, brilliantly kicked. Oh. He's bruised on the burst. What a lovely mark. Running Lewis and Lewis switches it over the top. And the first goal tonight, it's Ruffy. But it was very smooth from one end to the other. 
Richie West Coast just butchered it. They absolutely butchered it when they had the ball and Hawthorne took it back. Franklin getting very heavily onto Butler. Boundary throw in. Hale and Nat and Nui. Burgoyne read it brilliantly. Ruffy had a good chance to kick the second. And Ruffy gets the 33 goals for the year. Well, I might talk to you about just have a look at the movement here from Jared Ruffin. It's the kind of movement you'd expect from a midfielder, just always getting in the eyes of Burgoyne. It's the high ball, hangs an eternity in the air. Birchall looking in the wrong direction. Savage fires up his own kick, lays it off. Hale inside the ball at 50 Hill. Hill's made 45 metres out. Got a pretty strong boot. Spots Birchall in the pocket, flips with the idea of going. He decides against it. Now he goes to Ruffin. And his third splits the middle. To a jo Josh Kennedy might be in front of There he is again, trying to make amends. Almost the mark. Hit the ground. Taken by Brown. Too long. No legal disposal. Mm. Just let it go. Right Simpkins got the football. Little chip pass. Ruffin takes the mark. That's the thing. Didn't have prior opportunity, but then it was pretty clumsy after that, wasn't it? So Roughhead, who's been terrific, manufactured one goal and kicks his fourth. And suddenly there's a wedge between the two sides now, 61-47. Ruckman lock up, Cox did well, Gaff missed the target, it was a throw, his arm was hit as he was trying to punch it, Burgoyne with the free. So Burgoyne from the heart of the centre square with a step to full forward, Roughhead! Oh, oh brilliant! And he has been a handful all night, Ruffy. Five goals for Jared Ruffy tonight. And look, that's that's been the story of the evening. Hawthorne go inside 50, they get a goal. Yeah, it's yeah. been as simple as that. Big numbers around the footy here. Good tackling from Smith on Lewenberger. And Hodge was able to really launch it. Roughhead motions his way to the front. That is an outstanding mark. Just a nice little manoeuvre. Well, it is. You'll see it on the replay. It's going to miss from Pat for, wasn't yeah. it? Well, there's no such thing as an easy goal today at that end. But Roughhead was very confident. And it showed. What's his 37th goal? See Pat there. He just wasn't strong enough in the initial one there. Pat with his right arm. Allowed yeah. Roughhead to get in front. He had great position. That's our rough head there. You just had to be really strong on that right arm there, Pat. Will not allow him to get anywhere near the drop zone of the ball. And as we know, rough head, you just cannot assume as a defender. Now they're right on the cusp here, Brisbane. They've got to really uh, just buckle down now and play some seriously attentive football because there's a number of players who have just dropped right off and it's going to be uh, embarrassing if they don't really address that. The rough head's a bit sore now. And the umpire's playing 50. Thanks, Colby. Did show you, though, uh, what sort of corky that's going to be, though. That was a serious knee right in the buddy. And that's another blow to the Brisbane Lions. Hawks right on top. Isaac Smith yeah. in full flight for Lewis. They've dropped off their tackling this quarter, Brisbane. Too much time and space. They're giving Hawthorne, as you know. Oh, beautifully weighted kick. Not sure whether Adcott heard the voice to go. I think... His teammate was yelling to guard the dangerous space. There was a lot of spectators. So Roughhead lining up for his third. There is some technical issues down here. Hence some of the stats, or most of the stats, we're not being able to see at this stage. But the one that matters is that Hawthorne are dominating. Well, it started with a kick into the forward line. Rebounded too, way too easily after the uh, magnificence of last week's last quarter victory. They've just got to uh, try and be competitive in this last quarter, and it mm. all is going to stem from their defensive efforts. We saw that last yep. goal from Simon Black. Came on the back of a really good forward half tackle. Simkin with the launch. Roughhead. Well, that was just magnificent forward craft from Roughhead. You just know he's got a height and a weight advantage on Clark. The last minute, he just dived at the ball before it hit the deck. So Roughhead really hitting his straps. In the second half of this game, what a lethal combination they are down there. Well, 
Well, they should be lethal too. Yeah. Justin Clark's only uh, played seven yeah. games, so he's going to be exposed. Around 30, the Cats way. Simpkin to hold it up. Hand pass to Mitchell. Another one to Lewis in space. Delivers left foot drop punt inside. And a rough head has marked it. He bagged four last week against the Lions. Here he goes. Left foot drop punt. Does it come back? It does. It'll sneak through. The big roughy is on the board. He scored one goal since quarter time. 15 metres around from the Hawthorne goals. Gee, they'd love one at this stage. Battling away. Smith off the ground. Don't tell me, Isaac. He's broken the deadlock. He snuck a little underground job through from Defensively tonight, when the two goals they've got out of their four have been from scrambly kicks out of a ruck contest by the Ruckman, which have fortuitously gone through. One to Hale, and then that one to Ruffhead. So full credit to Long, but right now... Rioli. Just that sort of play, Rioli, that uh, will draw a lot of free kicks for holding the man. He just has so much energy around the football. So, Jeray chosen, and then he puts it to the hot spot. Nobody today, but Rafi, as he always is, is such a nice option. Well, if you, I mean, we'll get another look at just puts yardage on his direct opponent, Trengrove. So versatile. Rafi, has been playing all over the ground. He leads the goal kicking with 42-15. I think he's added another. He's been so accurate from everywhere and that's proof of it again yep. yep not deliberate it was out on the full yeah could have played that better Matty Broadbent I think gathering the football in was the mistake and look at this rough head on the lead yeah but just needed to be a little cleverer in that situation so Ruffy he's kicking on goal now and as he kicked his second he has he's given the Hawks just a little bit of breathing space it's one by Burgoyne to one to Pio Polo to Stratton now he's got a paddock in front of him one bounce it's ugly he's got time to recover not quite Wingard took him high looked at the umpire said let's roll it now free kick to Stratton So after all of that, Roughhead settles himself and Port pay the ultimate price. So Roughhead moves along to 3-1. And... Hawthorne, right end of the ground for them. Hale at the back. He did nicely. Isaac Smith got it away to Hill. Hill very quickly back on his feet. Gee, that was terrific stuff. Big fly, Roughhead's second attempt. He's marked. He's kicked three already this afternoon. He's going to go back for his fourth. And he... Yeah, Broadbent just really mistiming his leap at the footy there. Just has presence. We've spoken about it all afternoon. Obviously, Buddy Franklin not playing this afternoon. Kicking for his 46th goal of the season for four this afternoon. And he's gone past Josh Kennedy, perhaps temporarily, but he's in the lead for the Coleman Genie right. reads that well. It was Boak who kicked the last goal, who sent it inside 50. Foot race on here. Hodge doesn't worry about the race, just hacks it forward. Jonas Burgoyne. Jonas goes to ground. Burgoyne the tackle. Well done, O'Shea. Got down to help out. Not sure about the handball. Then from Carlisle, sold his man into trouble. Quick kick towards the top of the goal square and rough head there. Travis Cloak with two last night. Jack Revolt and also Lindsay Thomas. Ruffett only kicked 41 goals last season. He's now got 47 in round 16. In third man. It fell to Griffin but his kick was smothered or pushed in the back by Liberatore. That was untidy. Free kick to Jordan Lewis who is 75 out. He goes for Ruffett on the lead. And Cousin Senior in front of his junior. Josh Kennedy on uh, 47 goals. Who's got the opposite to the Michael Holding runner? Because Jared Ruffhead, absolutely no fuss. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Kicks it goal of short steps and puts it right through the middle. There's our Coleman medal leader. Jared Ruff had the first goal of the day. Right. Inside 50, Tim. I think David Hale's still a little bit unwell. That's why I was signalling you a moment ago. He almost knocked himself out on Jordan Roughhead's legs. But he's got up. It's taken him a while to clear the head. He's taken a mark. He's given it to Roughhead, who slams through his second. That is a good guy's goal of the day. 
players out there. As Gunston comes off the ground, let's hope he's OK. Because Franklin down. Career best moment. performance from Isaac Smith. 27 disposals today. Eight contested possessions. Couple of clearances. Sewell, late inclusion, but he's the next best talk with 24 disposals. Hawks deep in attack here. They are, and they're a chance for a goal if there's an advantage being paid, which I think it is. It's a goal to Jared Ruffhead. His third for the day, his 50th for the season. His season, his career best, Lloyd, 75. Everything he had. And Howlett half stood up. Ryder who's kicked a goal early. Building for Gibson front spot on Danaher. And then runs off him and Saul provides a shield for him. And then kicks towards Ruffy. Free kick for Ruffhead. Against Hooker. Just didn't want to let him jump at the football hook. We've just got too much on the uh, back forcing him forward. And I'll tell you the other thing. I mean, if the ball comes in high and it's Franklin Carlo, you reckon Carlo's going to win 9 out of 10. If it's just those two, Ruffhead, Neat gets it. He's got 51 for the year. He didn't have much of a choice, but he knows no other ways. After the football all the time, Puapolo lays it off. Savage looks inside the forward 50. Rough head, body to body. Put almost got a free kick. It bounces back to him. He snaps and he puts it through. That's his second marvellous goal. We've well, given an example as to why Jared Ruffy can play in every position in the ground. It's right there. As the ball hits the deck, he's as lively as anyone. Hawthorne are in rare. Well, I say rare form. They're in really good Hawthorne form. Hill got it from the centre. Good kick to Bruce. Too far out to goal, you would think. Polopolos at the back. Goes short to Ruffhead. And how well he protected the ball there. And look at the frustration. Impressive. I think he got a whack down in the pocket a few minutes ago. He was on the ground for a while. Yep, uh, head flash with Carlisle. So Ruffy going for a third goal. And he gets it. So he's got 53 for the season so far. Brilliantly and again, Rioli feeds it forward. Sewell, Cuopolo going past, looks inside the forward 50, Ruffhead. Well, that was clinical. Six is just so versatile. Going at his fourth. Gets it, equals his best against these bombers. He's kicked one in every quarter too, down a minute. One. Yeah, <laughs> and Lee, another even shorter one to Simpkins. So they've had six kicks that have got them, oh, I reckon, about 85 metres. So about the 15, the average. And that kick to Bruce was oh. absolutely perfect. It was indeed. 55 metres out, so is that. Roughhead on the move. Sympathetic yeah. Ryan to Julio Jones. 15. Atlanta Falcons. Wide receiver, quarterback, there goes the kick, Roughhead puts it through for a goal. Look at me like that, Bruce. That's how it goes. <laughs> that was beautiful. Yeah, this Hayes, and then getting the ball back towards the centre, but Burgoyne did so well. No, fair spare, Bruce, he's had it too good for too long. As the ball comes down towards half forward, Spanger, Smith runs into a dead end. Run down from behind by Robert and ball jarred out of there. But Roughhead surges away, lines up and kicks a goal. Well played, he gets his second. He's got a nice turn of foot. Uh, back to Hawks. Not having Matt Suckling this year as a ball yeah. user. Virgil's been out injured. Yeah, big turnover here, the short one from Stephen. Then Bruce bringing it back towards Lewis. Saunders just went off the ground. Well done, Simkin to Lewis. Didn't get much on a good tackle. And then Hayes gets it back, but dangerously. And Bruce runs onto it. And then, well done. Did really well to Ruffy. In the pocket. He's got some options, Ruffhead. Now called to play on. And oh. just nonchalantly kicks his third goal for the match. Well, a bit too easy, isn't it? Just so potent when they've gone. Yeah, good run, there. Savage, Bruce. Good to watch. Back to Savage. And that kick's going to go really close. Right to the goals. And Ruffhead was always going to take that mark. And he's going to kick tonight on 54. Gets to 58. One shy of the 59 that leads to Coleman. 
yards an arm, at least initially. Dempster, Spanger put himself in. Dempster dives after the football. He's tied up. Uopolo did brilliantly. So too Mitchell whipped it across to Lewis. Touched off the boot. Spanger tries to centre it. He succeeded. Roughhead. Oh, well done. Five goals to Roughhead. And that was testimony to hard work. So he's so quick here, Ruffhead, isn't he? I mean, it's a good finish. So that fifth goal, Richo talked about this at three-quarter time. He might be in for a couple in the last. Five ladder. Geelong playing in Perth tomorrow night. Good game for them. Fremantle and West Coast. They're playing West Coast, of course. Ruffhead lets fly. And that's his first of the night. Sixty for the season. Just look where he came from there. I mean, that's that's an elite clearance stoppage type play. He got to the the hit zone speed. Bloke of six foot six, six foot seven, and launches from outside fifty. Shows you his value and his class. But again, highlights the versatility of their forwards, doesn't it? Lee? In the in the early days, we'd often the Lions put Jonathan Brown in the centre square because even though he's big, he could get the ball at ground level. And Ruff is one of the few against Melbourne. Uh, about midway through the second quarter from the bounce in the middle it's a Hawthorne free kick to Mitchell who was grabbed when he didn't have it and he takes the kick from the bullseye it's an underground kick it comes to Anderson who gathers and kicks to Roughhead on a fast lead a beautiful disposal by young Anderson and Roughhead well Roughhead's had two shots at goal is still goalless surely he'll be kicking this one and he gets it home Hawks have kicked the last two through their big guns Franklin and now Ruffhead. Bounce now kicks to the wing where Rioli was coming off, but then thinks, I'll take the mark and get a possession. A hand pass over the top to Savage. Here's some run from Hawthorne. From half 40, kicks in the Ruffhead direction, one on one. Edged out by Delaney, but it comes to the back for Ruffy to go in and go. Delaney handled himself well in the one on one battle, but Deck. And from the open goal square, he slots through his second to take the lead in the Coleman medal. And Hawthorne's levelled up 4-2 apiece at the 24-and-a-half-minute mark of the opening quarter. Let's go to Chris Stubbs on the boundary. Yeah, Luke Hodge getting a bit of attention down here, the Hawthorne skipper. It looks like it's that hand injury, the surgery that he had. They're just trying to pump his fingers, get the blood flowing through it. It doesn't look like anything major. There's some blood coming from his mouth. Uh, no, he's just walking past me now. So he'll be right, but a bit groggy. Hawks go forward. Gunston's kick in the Franklin direction. Couldn't mark, but it fell to Anderson. He dishes off the hand pass. The shot at goal. No, it's a pass to Ruffhead, who marks on the line. Thought Hill was having the shot. He was passing to Ruffhead. Ruffhead slots the goal from right on the line. He's got three, and that's a good start. To late back to Gibson, but he's under pressure. The other oh, Gibson well comes at well him. Josh Gibson does well. Works the ball up to Anderson. Hand pass away. Virgil has a bounce and gets to 50. Kicks long to full forward. Rioli up with one hand. It's still there in the forward pocket. Roughhead looking for Rioli. Oh, Rioli lays a bit of a rugby tackle. It was low. Oh, oh. oh Hanson gave a hand pass backwards. It was taken by Roughhead. <laughs> who kicks make it. another one. Uh, but Lockie made a couple in that passage of play. Looks like he's starting to get weary. They're starting to wear them down. Uh, so, look, it's un- a very... Uh, They've led another game. They've led another game by some way, and they're going to get run over again. Chris Stubbs on the boundary. Jamie Millen pretty sore coming off. He's coughing. It's he doesn't look forward. Malcheski overran the football. Puapolo. It was good timing. Just released it. Franklin in stride. Inside the centre circles. Punishing kick. A deep one. And Ruffhead comes up and takes the mark. Ruffhead. 25 metres out. Kick is on the way and he puts it through. How about that for a quick reply? So long to get the first. Back-to-back goals. Eventually Stratton across to White Cross. Hammers it forward on one knee. Gibson. Savage looks up. Kicks inside the forward 50. Roughhead goes back. It cracks a crowd. And they can do nothing about him taking a mark. It's just the height there. Dane ran away, I would suggest, 10 to 15 centimetres at the very least. And that's just a terrific vertical leap of mark, even with the... Second effort from Malczewski. The team defence where you've got to really take whoever's the closest yep. to you when it comes back. Not so good then. Missed a couple tonight, but not this one. So the margin at 10 points now. Boston again, almost. Burgoyne's lingering. Mitchell, so good with ball in hand. Gets a good kick forward. Ruffy. 
Ruffy doing it well. Oh, well Lily took Papalo's head off. And then Poppy back to Ruffy. Oh, oh brilliant. It might be the Coleman kick. They're in front. That bounce of the ball, it's... Uh, sometimes you can read the bounce of the ball. Just the way is it going to bounce up in the air. I mean, he's just had his head kicked off. But, you know, but Ruffy, I think, pretty certain that ball was going to kick high in the air from the bounce. And... Uh, Popolo's so brave, I mean, he didn't care whether Ruffy's going to kick his head off. <laughs> no, he just no, wanted he, to get the ball and get it back to the big Ruffy, didn't he? But a couple of centre bounce clearances, just getting the ball surging forward, that Mitchell kick forward out of that. Up, close to Hawthorne's goal, Ruffhead is through, kicks his fourth. Oh, how's that for class? That's where he's come from again, he's got goal side of Richards, no, yeah. He's not the Ruckman, he's just used the big body to charge through. And Rowan couldn't control it. Important play. Well done by Richards just to hold it up. Gibson searching. Mitchell so constructive. Brilliant handball. Ruffy, well, he's a chance from here. And look at that. Hawthorne. Transitional football goal. Scores a level. I think now he's got his rhythm. And I mean, he's had a couple of just half opportunities, just a little bit fumbly, but that one, he got that first feel and nailed it pretty easy from the 50 metre line. And Jared Ruffhead was able to get on the end of this moments before this passage of play. Ted Richards left his direct opponent. They create the space, and they find that space is done just there. They're just working Sydney over here. They try and pull all their forwards back to see if they can, yeah, just do this lead up towards the 50 metre mark. For kicking 70th goal for the season. He kicked 75 in their premiership year. Coleman medalist for the first time this year. Good looking kick. And he gets his 70th. Hawthorne are on their way. They're in the prelim final for sure now. And the think they got Franklin and Rioli to come back. Yeah, well, Sill she'll, she'll be cherry ripe in two weeks' time. Oh. Come preliminary final day, you would have thought he must have been far off. Playing this week and brilliantly obviously... picking it up. Saul Ruffhead's been quiet ish. Kick forward. Gunston's been anything but that. And Rioli's been very good. And they're going to get hurt again here. That turnover again. That sloppy kick from Johnson. And now Bruce short. And we talked about the importance of Pampage being final series to Coleman Miller. It's a brilliant year. And he does a pav and gets the goal. That's a deflating goal from Fremantle's perspective. Started the quarter well with the goal from their skipper. And Lane is the target. Attracted a crowd. Lake knocks it down in front. Buopolo did well. Hodge lowered the eyes and found a teammate. Barely the 15 up ahead. It's Rioli. No one's standing the mark. He turns around. Roughhead is going to get a free kick. Franklin, the worst for wear. It's been that sort of turn. Ruffhead spoke about him moments ago, kicks a goal. Ruffy, the Coleman medalist, gets his second. Great contest on the wing by both Chris Mayne and Buddy Franklin.